This video is sponsored by Avail. Are you a HGV driver looking for a job? If so, then create and log into the Avail app and start looking for work. Want to know more? Then download the Avail app today. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Luke. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hope you're well. We're just going around this roundabout. It's a bit tight. Thank you, mate. Appreciate it. We are currently in Egham and we are delivering, well, we're on our way to uh, PGR Building. Watch out, kid. PGR Building Supplies. I'm just watching the children in the left. Um, in Egham, PGR Building Supplies. We've got 25 bulb bags of topsoil for them. Uh, it's all and say roped and sheeted. It's not roped and sheeted. Whole generation driver's gonna go, oh, you can't rope and sheet. No, it's not. It's netted and strapped. My apologies. I got it incorrect then. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's all netted and strapped up and um, we are pretty much around the corner, just about a mile and a half away from the, uh, the delivery point. And we shall get this off. From Egham, we're going to, I think it's Halesmere. Uh, then we've got 20 bolt bags for them and four pallets. So yes, that is what we are doing today. What we're doing after that, I do not know, but hello, welcome to the channel. My name is Luke. I really do appreciate you watching. Okay, I've undone all the bungees on the, uh, on the net. We've just got to take the straps off now. One, two, three, we've got five straps to take off. And then we might put two back on to be safe. But uh, yeah, we'll take the straps off anyway. Go from there. Right, we're just up on the trailer. I can see um, Matey Boy's got his curtains still open. Yeah, Matey Boy just said, come on in when the lorry goes, but I can see he's still got his curtains open. He's like doing his straps up or something. So we are on the trailer sorting the net out and then um, yeah we roll it up and then we go on in okay the lorry driver in already his curtains are now done up we've undone our net up until where we need it so we've got 25 bags to come off we'll actually end up with that row there being just the bottom ones so by that I mean all these are coming off and then they get to this row here this row and they take that one off and the same on the other side but that bottom one will stay and then that then gives us 20 plus the pallets for the next job anyway lorry has got his engine on so let's get ready to go okay uploading has commenced he just said is it all for him i said you can have all if you want i'd go home early then <laughs> add a little laugh it's always good to have a little laugh if you thought the phone Okay, this guy's going quite quick, which is good. Getting these off in a jiffy, no problemo at all, which is good. Uh, I've also put the post in sat now where we're going next. It's only an hour away. I thought it was a bit further. Um, so we could be there for like 10, half past 10, something like that, early. Okay, we're tipped. We're just re-strapping up what we need to. Ugh. Lovely doubly. And then, uh, Gonna make sure that this is tight again. They do the other side as well. So um, yeah, so like I said, got that to come off now at the next drop, and then we go down one there. Look. So that's also strapped up. Let's go and uh, do the net up on the other side, and then we can get out of here. Oh, another truck just turned up. Good timing. Yeah, you're right, mate. Yeah, not too bad, you. Good, mate. Huh? Where have you been? Well, this has come from Tetbury. Oh, really? Yeah. How have you been, all right? Yeah, not too bad, you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Yeah, we're doing the first week of nights out. So. Oh, is it? Yeah, you enjoying it? it? No, I think that's a bit tight. You'll probably, what you'll probably have to do is drive down there. Yeah. 
and then reverse back. But as you're down there, I'll go out. So well, it was nice meeting you, mate. Yeah, Good you luck. too, mate. Right, I'm not sure if the microphone's been on or not. Um, I think there's only the one clip in, so hopefully it won't make too much difference. Anyway, a truck has turned up. Just so happens he's recognised me, so shout out to the Seymour truck if you're watching this. Um, I can't actually get out though <laughs> with how he's parked. So even it's just a bit rubbish to get out of this place. What he needs to do, if there was nothing behind him, let me show you. He's basically parked where I parked. But if there was nothing behind him, I would um, get him to go back. But he's gonna have to come on in, go right in front of us where where I come in to reverse back, and then I'll go out as um, as he drives on in. That's probably their best bet. Drag and wag. Anyway, we're off to the second destination now. Second destination being Halesmere. Oh, the sun's out. And uh, yeah, we're going to be there at 10 a.m. So that's not too shabby. Hopefully, get this off just as quick. They're a rapid here today. I've, like I said, I've been here a few times. Well, I did say earlier, but I don't know if the microphone was on. <laughs> so I don't know if I've included it. But I've been here a few times at PGR Building Supplies in, um, in Egham. And um, sometimes they're quick, sometimes they're not. You know. Depends. I, I guess it depends on who's offloading you i guess but this forklift driver who unloaded me today unloaded me um yeah rapid absolutely what you want on uh, on a friday from a forklift driver right can we get out like i said it's a bit of a my brakes felt a bit sharp then it's a bit of an awkward one if you've got any lorries coming down you can't get out but the car's part i'm gonna have to go on the curb i think no nope, just made it just made that about about a centimetre away from me in a car on the left <laughs> any uh, any closer we've had to turn in a bit more then gone on the curb so uh yeah oh no this end right is that another saying go left i'm i don't think you're allowed to go left i think there's a weight limit a yeah, there's a width limit. We can't go. Uh, we can't go left. So we'll have to go this way and go an alternative route. Go an alternative route. I think we can just go left here. And like I said, this is the way I would normally come in. I think that's why it looked different. Again, depends if I if I showed the footage. But on the way in, I come from the right hand side, and um, I didn't recognise it. All clear. Off we go. So I'm putting my faith in the sat nav a little bit here because I do actually want to get to the M25 and the signs were saying turn right to go to the M25. We're about to go on to Millhouse Lane. The M25 is right next to us on the right hand side. Um, we want to join up to it. See what the road signs say. There's a roundabout coming up. If it says it's another weight limit, then obviously. Um, we won't go down there. This van is not indicating. Indicate. I had a feeling that van was going all the way around, but it was not indicating. That's the other side of the width limit, so we've avoided that width limit. There's nothing to say we can't come down here. I think we're good. Yeah, I think we're good. Got a mile and a bit on this road, and then we're on a main A road, so. Um, I think we're going to be okay from here, so I will crack on. I will see you. That sun is really bright, isn't it? I'll see you um, when we are at uh, our next place, which is Halesmere. See you in a bit. The Essential New Truckers Handbook is a book aimed at new drivers who want to become part of the industry. This book will guide you through what to expect in the industry via its 28 chapters and will help you understand important rules and regulations such as driver's hours, loading and unloading, manoeuvring and much more. This book also contains DVSA revision theory test questions and is a great read should you wish to gain some extra knowledge. 
The Essential New Truckers Handbook, updated and enlarged, available now. Link is in the description down below. Okay, so we are approaching where we need to be. We're still a good 10 minutes away, but I have remembered this place. I've been to this one before. I didn't think I had. I have been here before. And it is a pain to get to and to get out of. It's quite tight. There is nowhere to turn around. Um, and we have to... I don't know where... I'm pretty sure it's not legal, to be honest with you, but we got no option. But to get to the place, we have to turn off a road with double white lines going in the middle. Um, I'm not sure it's legal, to be honest with you. But it's the only way in, because the lay is on the left-hand side. I've always been facing the wrong way. Um, so yeah, it's a bit it's a bit of an awkward one, this one. I've been here before. And then to get back out, like I said, you can't turn around, so you've got to go straight straight through the other way. And then there's low bridges. And last time there was a road closure. <laughs> so I had a choice between road closure or low bridge. I was stuck. I couldn't go anywhere. In the end, I think I had to do a very dodgy, very dodgy reversing manoeuvre onto the main road. Very dodgy. Not safe. Did it, but... Yeah, it's, this is a rubbish delivery job. Do not like this one. Yeah, it's starting to get a little bit tight. Little bit tight. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, we, we're about a mile away now from where we need to be. And lights just turn red up ahead. Um, so yeah, we need to sort of turn right off the road. Double lined road, which I'm not 100% sure is legal. Then we need to go down, it's like a very short hill if I remember correctly. And then it's just around the corner. And it's like, it's the only business there, but it's like a cut through. If you imagine a triangle, but all, all the other traffic uses this cut through, which is pretty much single track lane. It's, um, yeah, very, very tight. We need this left lane to make this right turn. Yes. Now we need to take this left. It's looking snug. So this is not it's not the best place to get to. Not for a truck. If there's anything coming down, we gotta slow down. It's gonna ruin our momentum. It's not ideal. If this car realizes I'm wide, he might stop. Yes, he does. Yeah, it's just, it's just a little bit awkward, really. Um, and then I think, I was thinking, do they tip you from one side or do they get you to move over and tip both sides on this very busy road? And I think they get you to move over. But I, I seem to recall they may have said that their teleander was broken last time. So fingers crossed they tip us from one side because we can park in the lay-by on the left. Vehicles can pass us and they can, uh, they can offload us from the road. But we may need to move over and then we're blocking the road. <laughs> And then to get out, we can't. I'll show you when we get there, but we physically can't make the left turn to get out. We have to go right, and then we have to go left because straight on is a low bridge. And then, and then, yeah, that road last time was closed, so I had to reverse back onto the road. And it's a very tight 90 degree turn, like curved 90 degree turn. Um, yeah, I couldn't just go down and do a spinny and, and turn back round. I had to reverse out. Anyway, I'm rambling on. <laughs> it, wasn't, it was a very stressful day that day. Um, I like to think I'm a little bit more skilled since then, so we shouldn't, hopefully, we shouldn't have an issue. I think the biggest problem is, is this bit here coming up. It's turning right off a road with double lines and on a bend. That's the biggest issue, and I'm not sure it's legal. But we've got no option. No option, because the vehicle cannot get in going the other way. Okay, here we go. So we need to take this right-hand turn here. And then it's, the business is just down here on the right, where this truck's coming out of. Is the truck going? The truck's going. It's clear. Let's go. That's that. I'm not entirely sure that's legal. It's fine. I haven't caused any damage or issues. And then we're literally just going here. But this is like the cut through. 
to go around here where this car's coming up now look as a cut through we're gonna park in this lay boy here we go I don't think we can make that left turn to get out or in. But yeah, look at all these traffic, all these vehicles. Just using it as a cut through rather than to go up and around. At the moment, there's loads of space, but it's whether we've got to move over to the other side or not is the issue. But last time I come here, this lay-by was rammed. There was no space. <laughs> and I don't know if you can quite see, but up in front, yeah, we had to turn left. We can't go right. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We're here. We're here. Let's, um, let's tell them we're here and then um, get it all taken off. See in a bit. Right, we are in. It's kind of hard to film. We're going quite quickly. I've got two fault lift drivers on me. We've actually gone inside the branch itself. We've got to reverse all the way back out, I think, which uh, could be a little bit of a challenge. So I'll film that on the way out. Okay, one more, one more bag to come off and then it's just the pallets. Uh, then we need to go and put the net away. Right. So it turns out we're not reversing. They're spinning around in here. They seem very, um, what's the word? It's like they just don't know how much space a truck needs. Getting in, one of them said, yeah, you make that, no problem. I was like, well, Make that car move, or I'm going to take the car out with the trailer. Ah, you'll get in there. I'm telling you, mate, I'm not going to get in there. And now they want me to spin around here. It is, uh, it is very tight. I'm going to practically be jackknifing. I've got something wrong with my brakes. They're very sharp. On the edge. Cheers, mate. Just got to be careful of those airlines. They were a proper stretch then. It's annoying because it like it just it stretches your airlines, which then makes them look un like they just look messy, basically. Anyway, we got out. But getting in, there was no way I was going to get in with where the car was parked. The car that I turned up basically was there when I turned up. I would uh, I'd have to go round it and then jackknife it in and then the trailer would have kicked out just like it did there. Cheers, mate. Cheers, yeah, mate. And, uh, yeah, then it wouldn't have made it. We're um, right on the corner. Yeah, we made it. Right. We're out. Yeah, it's a very tight yard, that. Very tight. We can get it on out of here. Ah, very, very tight. Anyway, we are heading back to Swindon. We've got to get loaded with Chep pallets, but from Iceland. This is the junction I was talking about. 
So I, the road ahead was closed where that van is, so I had to reverse out onto this road. I couldn't just turn right here because of the, it's like a curved road. So I had to reverse, reverse out. It was uh, very tight. Looking at it now, I must have been bricking it. <laughs> must have been bricking it. Right. Just want to pull over. I definitely got something wrong on my brakes. It's catching very hard. So, I don't know if you can hear me, all my airlines are fine. I'm at the back of the truck now. I've been having brake issues this afternoon with no warnings on the dash. I've now got an ABS issue, which has just come up. So all I'm doing is just making sure not only that the ABS cable is not snapped from doing that turn, but just making sure it's all connected properly anyway. And uh, sometimes all you've got to do is just take it out, put it back in again and swap it round. Swap the ends round. So that's what I've just done. Jump back in the truck now. I can see the lights are already off. The lights are already off on the dash, so that might have fixed it. Just swapping it around. But uh, yeah, the brakes work. They just, if you brake too hard, they'll lock up, that's all. Yeah. Green light for me. Get through these roadworks. Yeah, so I swapped the ABS uh, cable around and um, they do appear to still be a little bit sharp. There's no warners on the dash now. Where did you want me to go? Right, the traffic's on your side, mate. Anyway, I'm going to navigate out of here and uh, I will see you back in Swindon. See you in a bit. Right, situation report. We have nothing on the trailer. Like I said, we have brakes. So I don't want anyone commenting saying, oh, you shouldn't be driving without brakes because we have brakes. If anything, we have too much brakes. <laughs> um, they just, they just, yeah, they work too hard, too much. So we've been using the engine brake as much as possible because if we tap the brakes, then um, yeah, it's a bit awkward. I've got no warnings on the dash which is strange. Normally you get a warning on the dash saying like ABS fault. I had one earlier, swapped the cable around and uh, it's gone. So what we're doing is going back to the yard, we're swapping trailers. Gonna have a, another trailer instead and, um, and then go and get loaded. So we're doing the right thing. Get this trailer dropped. It's gonna be looked at and um, we're gonna go take a different trailer and get that loaded instead. So yeah, reported problem and we're gonna go get the problem fixed. Which is, uh, which is just what you want. We are gonna park here. Right, we're unhitched. Lovely jubbly. Let's get the red one. So we just dropped the blue trailer in front of us. You should be able to see it in a second, the camera on the dash cam. There we go, you should be able to see it now. We're just gonna hitch up to this red one.
Easy as pie. Tug, tug. We're going to raise the suspension up. Right, let's go put the airlines on. Right. <sighs> Trailer on. Reset the suspension. See about. Is that someone there? Yeah, I could, I could see my boss, but no one's coming out to me, so I will crack on. Let's go get this thing loaded. Just going to test the brakes to see if it's definitely uh, the trailer and not the truck. Yeah, nothing wrong with the brakes. Yeah, so it's definitely the trailer's got some sort of brake issue, which is strange because it's just had an MOT, like literally just had an MOT. Yes, uh, today, was it today, no, yesterday was the first day that um, it's been out for a while. I had a fresh MOT on it. It's all been cleared. And then, um, also then we get that issue with the brakes today. Is this lorry coming in or? Because we are, we are coming out. Right, let's go. So yeah, we're only, we're only like 15 minutes, give or take, just over um, from Iceland. So I'm going to crack on there and uh, probably see you once we're in there, to be honest with you. So I'll see you in a bit. Right, we are in Iceland now, waiting to be loaded. We've actually been here for uh, half an hour now. <laughs> I turned up and uh, I don't want to get anyone in trouble, but I turned up and the guy said uh, he finishes at three o'clock <laughs> and um, the late shift will load me. So bear in mind, it was 35 minutes before he finished his shift and uh, didn't want to load me. Happy to talk to me for 15 minutes next to my door, but didn't want to start loading me. Uh, like, like even make a start, put a few pallets on and then late shift could finish it. Didn't want to, want to do that. So we're sat here and um, we just got to wait basically until until someone else comes over to me. The late shift don't start until three o'clock, which is in another eight minutes. But yeah, I've been here for for half an hour already. Right, hang on. Right, we are actually now loaded. We've been here, uh, I don't know, so quite a while. I went on TikTok, did a TikTok live. <laughs> uh, we've now got 20 pallets high all along the bed of the trailer, so we're going to make a move now. I'm going to switch the GoPros on. There we go. I'm not entirely sure why I started that off on my phone. Well, to be fair, I can't really show much anyway, so... Ugh. Need to have a tidy up in here when we get back to the yard. Right, okay, they don't want a code. <laughs> they gave me a code on the way in, he said say that on the way out. They just opened the gate, I ain't hanging around. Gates, gates open, barriers open, whatever you want to call it. I'm out of here. <laughs> um, yeah, I think we got her at half past two. It's uh, 10 past four now, so just over uh, an hour and 40 minutes, he'll take, I don't know. Can't bother to work it out, I'll concentrate on driving. Concentrating on driving. Anything coming from the right? No, all clear. Let's go. Let's go, go, go. So, yeah, we will be in the yard in about 15 minutes, 20 minutes. It's about half past four, so not too shabby. Not too shabby. And then uh, we'll fill up with our blue. I think I think we might only need to put a couple of cans in and then fill up those cans again, and then we should be done. Truck needs a wash, but ankle's hurting. <laughs> That's my excuse. It hurts. It generally hurts to stand up a little bit, so don't want to be on it too long washing the truck. Anyway, I'm going to crack on back to the yard. I'll probably see you when we are like heading to the car or something, and uh, we'll go from there. I will see you very shortly. See you in a bit. Right, we are now done for the day. Uh, just been in the yard talking and stuff to colleagues, filling out of our blue and stuff like that. Obviously, it's not dark. It was, I think it was light when I last saw you. Um, five to six so we're gonna make our way back to the yard I was dying. <sighs> tired we're gonna make our way back home and uh, enjoy the weekend and hopefully by the end of the weekend my ankle will be a lot better fingers crossed so yes anyway thanks for watching until next time drive safe stay safe I'll see you soon don't forget to like comment and subscribe and also 
check out my second channel, more Luke C. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.